Here's my RX 6800 XT video and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a 1440p native with ultra everything and then a 4k FSR quality. I'll make it side by side just to fit everything together and basically the conclusion I can come up with is that at 1440p you can get a very playable 60 FPS experience. At 4k the FSR quality, the, the frame rate drops well below 60 frames per second a lot more frequently so I suppose you could lower the FSR settings or try to mess with the graphical settings um, I wouldn't go any lower than quality myself but for 1440p the 6800 XT is uh, great again uh, like it usually is so yeah this is going to be the uh, tutorial area of the game and so I'll show a big chunk of that then we'll skip to the last boss so that should be uh, representative of what the combat will be like in this game. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of impressed. It actually runs really well. No problem. The, the frame times are good. The FPS is good. Yeah, solid uh, 1440p card. And 4K, I guess. The will help you focus your magic. Make it accurate. Keep it level. Prevent it from killing you. Your sigils mark you as a battle mage of Lucium and the Light's armor. A Magnus. Yes. Now, get ready to fight, Magnus. Fight what, sir? Battlefields have memories, Jack. I'll wake them for you. It's also worth mentioning that even though at 4K the frame rate dropped quite a bit below compared to the 1440p side, you know, on a FreeSync display it actually feels pretty good. Another thing worth mentioning is as well that this game is actually quite a bit CPU demanding as some of these recent Unreal Engine 5 games are. So even if you lower the FSR quality to balanced or perhaps even performance, you could end up in a situation where you're CPU limited and you're not going to really gain much frame rate. For example I was doing the beginning area I have footage of that on my 3080 Ti versus 6800 XD video I'm not sure yet because I do want to move to Armored Core tomorrow but it's I ran into a situation where my GPU was getting underutilized below around 70 percent utilization with 1440p FSR quality so maybe if you have a much faster CPU although 5900x is a very fast CPU compared to what's out there anyway you can play with the settings depending on what system you got or you can just play native. You should be able to get a very playable 60 FPS experience in this game with a 6800 XT at 1440p. So with that out of the way, I'll just let the video play. You're still vincible. Now let's see what you can do. You're what's called a triarch, Jack. The Pentasod has gifted you with the ability to manifest all three colors of magic. Some Magni only know certain colors? There are benefits to it. The more limited your palette, the easier it is to master. The triarch trades that mastery for versatility. That altar there holds your first red spell and a sigil to harness it. Take them both. Okay, do I take the blue one off? What? What? Oh, okay, I put the red one on my left arm. Got it. No, just... Just reach for the red sigil, Jack. Yes, neat. Now take the spell. Ugh. It it feels angry. Spells are alive. And well. Red magic is particularly violent, but the sigil will bend it to your will.
Don't allow them to close in on you. If they do, switch to your red magic and blast them back. Know which of your posts is best in any given situation. Don't get overconfident. The Rasharnians will always have you outnumbered. Take that healing stone. You're hurt. Okay. Some spells are not focused through your sigil, but through a totem. Take that one. Whoa! I, I can feel it. Coiling. What is that? It's a lash. You can use it to pull enemies towards you. Most of them, anyway. The larger ones, not so much? Not so much. to the next altar. Of all the colors, green magic is the most curious. It's the province of spirits, of death, life, and transition. Ouch! Ugh! Guessing this spell emphasizes the death part. Hmm. There is a war to win. This altar grants you the Animate spell. Animate allows you to manipulate some objects into different shapes. Some? How will I know which ones? They have been marked by another Magnus with a glyph. Look for it. Find the green glyph on that statue there. Then direct it. What is that? Prepare yourself, Magnus. You fall here, you die here. 